Hey friends, welcome back to your girl Brittany and today I have a quick and easy tutorial of this flip box, 4x4 flip card box, maybe that's what we'll call it. But anyways, super easy, very, very beginner friendly and we are going to go ahead and put this together. So make sure you give this video a like, don't forget to share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Grab all your supplies guys and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start off with a piece that measures eight by eight and you're going to score it at two inches on all sides just rotate and you're going to score it too and then i'm going to go ahead and hold on my score lines then i'm going to take my scissor and our little four squares that are in the corner we're going to go ahead and release those little flaps so we're going to cut on the score line up to where it meets the next score line. And I like I always like doing my stuff pinwheel style depending on what I'm making. It is just a habit. It doesn't matter which way you do it. What we're going to do is fold in our flaps and go ahead and attach. So then you have, so there's our box and good thing I had double checked my work and I realized, oh, <laughs> I almost folded it on the wrong side. So there is our box. So now we're gonna work on the base and the base measures eight by 12. And on the 12 inch side, you're gonna score it at four, six and 10. And then on the eight inch side, you're gonna score it at two and six or two on both sides. So we're gonna go ahead and do these score lines. All right, so now that we have that, so what we're gonna do is we are going to, looking at it on this side, so we have these small squares here, rectangle, square, rectangle. If you're looking at it this way, I'm going to release the squares on both sides here and release the squares here, and we're gonna completely remove those. So now your piece should look like this. So now what we're gonna do is I'm actually, I'm gonna take some tape, we're gonna do our bottom square. So the part that I have mad at, you see how I have this top part. So you want to have this be your decorative part because your box is gonna go to, on top of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some tape on this bottom square first. And then also take my glue so I can make sure that I have enough time to seal it up. And I'm gonna take my box, I'm gonna raise this up because I wanna make sure it fits perfectly within that square. And then take my bone folder and go ahead and get everything smoothed down and attached. And I just realized I forgot to cut out my matting piece for that side. Okay, so now that's what we have so far. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my glue and these flaps here are going to attach this side of the box. All right, so this is what we have so far. So basically we just fold it over and then that completes the box you can go ahead and add velcro for a closure or before matting you can add magnets so then when you go ahead and open it up you can put your little birthday message or congratulations or for you or whatever message you want here you can add like small little pockets here or um like a, a belly band of sorts so it's a very very simple quick and easy um, project. I'm pretty sure it's probably done, been done before. Who knows? But uh, that is basically it. 
So I myself will probably add Velcro, but it's just a cute way to send a gift and a card all at the same time. So you can go ahead and put your goodies in here, or if you're doing a swap, it can just be another way of doing that. Um, you can add some pastries. You can add, like here is one of my, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> pin cushions. So that even fits in there perfectly. And again, you can add your message or what have you. So that is it make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to share with your friends and if you're not already make sure you are subscribed to your girl thank you so much guys and until the next time bye